I'd like to see what she looks like at night. Whoa. Guys, we are back. I am super excited because today we are going to be unboxing and setting up this chick right here, the Lady of the Grave. Now, I picked her up for 50 bucks at a store called Marks. It's a local store. I don't know how many areas they actually exist, but in my area in Ohio, they're all over the place. I bought her right alongside Twisted Jack, and I think I have Smiling Jack in there. And uh, like I said, I paid 50 bucks for her. I don't know how much she originally was in the store, but she looks totally awesome. She reminds me of the Wraith from Spirit Halloween, and that's all I really expect her to do is just kind of go back and forth and make like ghostly sounds. I have not watched any kind of videos on her or anything, so I'm going to be seeing her for the very first time right along with you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get her open here. One thing I'm really hoping with her is that just like Twisted Jack, I hope that she uses batteries, or at least has the option to use batteries instead of plugging her in. Twisted Jack didn't even come with an adapter. Um, however, right here I can see that she does come with an adapter. We got the instructions here. Um, look at this, this is too funny, man. Look how white her hair is. That is crazy, I love this thing already. Thank you, airplane. Okay, it kind of looks like we got to just take everything out all at once. Let me turn this over. Hold on. These things can never just be easy. All right, so she, that's everything. And she was packed in there like Tetris, man. You can't just take out one thing. So this must be the base right here. Okay. Let's see, oh my gosh, look at that face. Holy crap, I'm creeped out already. Um, all right, let's just slide her out, I think. Wait a minute. Okay, here's the adapter, if I can get it out, yeah. Here's the plug for her. Connect it in there or something? What in the world? Oh, <laughs> look at this, she's tied in. All right, that's stupid. There we go. All right, put that back in the box. All right, there you go. Now, we got arms that fold out. Okay, lots of stuff to blow in the wind. Here's a dress. Yeah! <laughs> I'm loving this already. There is a mechanism, okay. And here is something else. Let's leave that in the bag for a minute until we figure out what's going on. Lady of the Grave. Installation and operating instructions. So we got the base, we got this mechanism. Take this out of here, I guess. One of those, one of these, one of these, one of these. Power cord, and I guess this bag is part of it too. Yeah, fabric frame cover, okay. All right, and just looking at the control box here, we do have a volume control, that's cool. Um, we have the plug for the outlet, and then we have the option of using battery, and on-off switch with the foot pad option also. Oh, and here's the foot pad, that's where it would plug in. And also, we have another plug if you wanna use an optional speaker. So if you wanna set up a bigger speaker on this chick, you can do it. All right, we have the metal base. So this goes on the metal base at the floor. Usually the control box is up in their back somewhere. All right. G, B, C, and D. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Up. Okay. E. Okay, so I think this goes up through here and connects right here. This connects up here, and this connects down here. That looks to be the way of it. 
All right, and this goes over top. Okay. F goes in up here. The whirl. Okay, there we go. She's gonna be tall. That's a long dress. Hey, what the heck? So there's a mechanism up inside, you can see it, that we now have to put on there. Okay, let's put her on the ground here. Otherwise she's gonna be super tall. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Man, she looks super creepy already. Look at that face. Alright, what's next? One more thing to plug in and then put in the batteries. Let's get these batteries in and see what's up with the Lady of the Grave. All right, I got to set up over here. There oh, we go. <laughs> yes, how cool is that? She is so awesome. Let's get a close up. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh guys she is so awesome yeah she is absolutely awesome guys check that out and the face is creepy enough as it is but if you want to make it even creepier like you can just pull that hair down in front of her face I'd like to see what she looks like at night whoa Oh my gosh, guys, she is so awesome. And when you get her going, she goes for a long, long time before she stops. I can't figure out where the sensor is, though. Like, when I come over here, that's when she starts. I would love to get the Wraith and the Hooded Phantom, one at each side of her. <laughs> I haven't been able to buy props for so long. I'm having so much fun setting these up. I don't recall if she actually lights up or not. Um, it's too light out here to tell. And let's see, I don't recall the box saying that she lights up. Um, speakers, batteries, sound or foot pad activated. Oh, okay. So she actually reacts to sound. That's what it is. So if I sneak up quietly, she shouldn't turn on. Hey, spooky. Hey, Spooky. Hey, Spooky. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Man, she would be so cool if you had like a whole graveyard set up and she was just coming up from between two big gravestones. I love it. All right, guys. Well, there she is. Lady of the Grave. She is so awesome. She was definitely worth 50 bucks. <laughs>